All right, guys, making this video for you about how to find the best stocks to trade for the day. And, uh, you know, as intraday traders, as day traders, we want a big range, right? The bigger the range, the more money we can make, either on the upside or the downside. So uh, you want to look for stocks that have a high relative volume, that have traded a lot of volume before the market opens. And, uh, you know, they're doing above average volume. So... If a stock averages 10 million shares a day and you know it's trading 20 30 40 million shares uh, that's an extremely high volume okay so either that stock is running up big or it's uh, falling big or it's gonna do both you know it's gonna set a big range and you're gonna be able to capitalize on it both ways so you want to look for stocks that one have a high volume and two, you want to look for stocks that uh, that have a smooth chart, okay? A clear and obvious trend, especially for a new trader. You know, as a, as a day trader, you know, I, I do a lot of scalps. And, you know, scalping is completely different than trend trading or momentum trading, right? So, for new traders, most of you don't have hotkeys you know uh, a, a professional trading platform with hotkeys where you can get in and out of trades in seconds and a lot of you may be under the PDT rule and you know you can only place a few trades a week so uh, you want to make sure that you're trading something with a very clear and obvious trend okay because most of you new traders are going to be trend trading momentum trading right so you know, when you're looking at the chart, if it's not a smooth, clear chart, then you probably want to stay away from it, right? If it looks real choppy, then you may be waiting a long time to get your entry, right? And you don't want to buy in the chop because your risk reward ratio is not so good. You know, your downside risk is just as much as your upside. So you want to make sure that you're trading stuff that's smooth, right? If you look at a chart and it looks choppy, just go to the next one. You know, when you find one that you're like, oh, wow, it's, you know, three green bars, one red bar, two green bars, one red bar, or two red bars. And it's just, these are not violent pullbacks. These are like just slow fading back to support, gets bought up, keeps moving higher. You know those are the ones you want to trade okay and when you find those you want to wait for a pullback okay you know stocks will always come back and test support levels so if it breaks a resistance that should be support wait for it to come down even if it's you know two three four green bars doesn't matter you don't have to jump in because if that's gonna be a continuation move then it's gonna get bought up off the next support when it comes down to test it. So you have to be patient and just wait for the trade to come to you, all right? So I hope this helps you guys because a lot of people are asking, oh, what's in play and what's a good stock to trade today? And guys, you don't need to be running around asking everybody else what's in play and what to trade. Okay, look at what's moving for the day. Look at the average volume. And if it's doing above average volume, especially two, three, four times, the average volume then that might be a good stock to trade as long as you're patient enough to wait for the right setup wait for price to come to you and uh and you'll do well so make sure the chart's not choppy stay out of the chop and uh you know pick stuff that's got a smooth clear obvious trend and you'll do a lot better that way so all right i hope this helps you guys i'll talk to you soon